Okay, so when you're driving on expressway in Japan, um, it's a little bit different than driving, say, in the States. In the States, the, the fast lane, as you call it, or the thoroughfare lane is on the left, and the slower lanes, exit lanes are on the right. Well, here it's flip-flop. It's actually the other way around. As you notice here on Yoko Yoko, the exit is on the left. Most exits in Japan on expressways on the left. Now, when you get into the inner cities, Yokohama, Tokyo area, then yeah, you'll have some exits on the right, but um, by far large, most of the exits are on the left. Currently, we're in a right lane, so this is the faster lane. Um, we're driving, you can drive a little bit faster than 80 kilometers per hour, uh, but it's not recommended. You, <laughs> you don't want to get a ticket. Also, um, there are po undercover police out here. Um, they're usually driving, I'm not going to say exactly to make a model because I don't want to get in trouble, but let's just say uh, the make starts with a T and ends with an A. Um, and uh, yeah, and they're usually in blue jumpsuits and white helmets. Um, also, you notice that's a P stop. P stops are rest areas um, where you can stop to use the restroom. You can stop to get gas if they have a gas icon on the sign. Um, you can also even get something to eat, but nothing large. Usually stuff like ramen or tempura. You can even pick up some um, omiyage or souvenirs there. Okay, like for instance, this one right here. That one just says uh, just drinks and stuff like that. It doesn't have a gasoline icon, and that's the exit. Alright, so next we're going to talk about the ETC card and reader. Now, ETC stands for Electronic Toll Collection. It is similar to um, Easy Pass in the States. The reader looks like this, pretty much looks like that. And that is the card right in there. Now, to, let's say you buy a car and it does not have the ETC reader in it. That is fine, you can buy one at a yellow hat or at an auto box. They're all over Japan. Don't know where you are, they're all over. They're almost everywhere. Super auto box, auto box, yellow hat. They can run up about 100 bucks, $120, something like that. The card, however, is a little bit different. You can get that, you have to have a Japanese bank account to. Um, own one of those <clears throat> um, there is a system where um, you can have it linked to your American account but uh, you can google that um, I think it's Japan ETC card.net or something like that I don't want to sponsor them or do anything like that because that's their business and I don't want to you know um, you know get into their stuff so um, you can look just google for that if you want to try to use your own uh, like a uh, Navy Federal card or uh, American uh, Visa, debit or credit card, or whatever over here. Um, you have to go through them. But if, say, you have a Japanese spouse or if you have a Japanese uh, bank account, you can uh, get like a card from Rakuten or any other dealer. Like currently, our card is a Rakuten card. This is my wife's uh, Rakuten card. It's linked to her Rakuten account Rakuten is basic, basically the Japanese flavor of Amazon and uh, we pay um, we pay according to whatever tolls that we accumulate throughout our trips um, and actually it'll show you what exits that you got off on or got off or um, entered on in the tolls for each I won't lie driving in Japan on the tolls of expressway, especially in mainland Japan, um, can be a little bit pricey. But I'm not really a public transportation guy. Um, I like to drive. Um, and I have three children, so I don't want us all on the train. It's yucky, it's nasty, especially now with COVID-19. It's better to have your own transportation. Um, so yeah, ETC reader, get it from Auto Box or Yellow Hat. Um, you can buy it there, and then after you purchase it, you will have to get it registered. They have that service there also. They will also register it for you. The turnaround on that is about, uh, can be about anywhere from 
half a day to like two days. I think they you have to actually fill out paperwork and stuff. They'll fill it out for you. They mostly just have you put your name and address and they fill out the rest for you. And they get, I think there's a, like a processing fee for that. And you come back and they'll have it all installed for you. And after you, even if you have the reader installed, that does not mean that you can go through an ETC toll um, lane. You have to have the card. You have to have the card. You have to have the card. Um, if you're affiliated with a base, especially like your Koska base, I think you can rent them um, for like a thousand yen per month or 900 yen per month at the fleet wreck on the second floor. Um, or you can go through um, other companies out there to use your own um, uh, American Visa card work, but you may need to put a deposit down to get that. And since we didn't want to do that, we used my wife's uh, Japanese ATC rocket card, and it's been working out fine. Now you can use, you can take this card out of this car and put it in your buddy's car. Say you want to go to Tokyo with your buddy, but he doesn't have ETC, and you don't want to go through all that stopping stuff. You just want to fly. You can take your card out and put it into his reader and it will work just fine. If you purchase a car with the ETC uh, reader already in it, you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to re-register with your name or anything. All you have to do is, um, all you have to do is buy a card, get a card for the reader. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it for the reader expressway we're getting on a junction you see right here it shows you that the etc lane is on the far right or in um, kind of mid left so check that out up there if you can see if it has a red x don't go through it the lane is closed if it is purple if you have an etc card registered and everything then you're good go through this lane you want to slow down it says right there to 20 kilometers per hour then the swing arm will open I have seen, yes, I have seen guys flying through in their Benzes and whatnot uh, with no regard for human safety, just flying through. And I actually saw one guy nip, um, like damage the swing arm and damage his car as he flew through. He just kept on going. But I'm sure they got his license plate and everything. So don't be that guy. Slow down to 20 kilometers per hour when you are going through the ETC toll. Okay, if you do not have an ETC and you're just paying with cash, you have to go through the full green kanji lane. Let's just call it that. Um, it's a green kanji lane. There's one all the way to the left over there. It's half green, half purple. That is okay. You can go through that. If it's half green, half purple, this is okay. Whatever you do, don't go through this. But if you're paying with cash, you can go through the half green, half purple kanji lane. Um, there will be an old man there. He will hand you a ticket or ask you to pay or both. He'll be like, hey, give me your ticket and you give him cash um, and then you'll be on your way. If, he, if they hand you like a blue slip with like a QR code on it, um, keep that because um, you'll need that when you go to like other junctions like deep in Tokyo or if you go to like the Haneda Airport, um, especially when you go to Haneda Airport, they're gonna ask for that. If you don't have that, they're gonna try to charge you. Or if they're nice, they'll just let you go. So hold on to that blue slip looking type thing. Um, good practice, just hold on to anything that they give you, the receipt, anything, because they're gonna ask you where you got on, got on at and charge you accordingly. Or if they wanna be mean about it, which they usually aren't, um, they're just charging the max. So don't put yourself in that situation. Uh, hold on to your receipts if you're paying with cash. Now, um, you'll see on the windows that they take visas and credit cards. Um, be careful about that. Um, only because, as I've said in my other videos, Japan has their own flavor of visa that is not compatible with American visa. And so you think that it's all good, but it's not going to be all good. They're going to be like, ah, oh, your card doesn't work. Um, it has to be like a Japanese issued visa card. Um, I think. American Express works, but not that visa, because Japan has their own um, visa. I'm not too sure about American Express, so it's always best to just carry cash um, if you're going to be traveling like that and not have an ETC card. And as you can see, we're in the right most lane. Um, there's a 
fair lane. Um, speed limits are always posted off to the left, right, if you're not sure how fast you should be going. Um, now, as you can see, we're in three lanes, we're on a three lane highway, and to the airport. And yeah, uh, that's the skinny of it. That's how you drive an expressway in Japan. Recap. Um, leftmost lane is usually the exit lane, um, slower lane. This is the passing lane. I don't want to call it the speeding lane. Put anybody in trouble. That's what I do. Um, this is the passing lane. Uh, the middle lane, um, well, you can figure that out <laughs> to get into either lane, left or right, whatever. If you just feel comfortable just cruising, whatever, you can stay in the middle lane if you're new until you get the hang of it. There are going to be some. Um, say a holes that will come up behind you if you're in the right lane and try to make you move over you don't have to move over because you're a paying customer they'll go around you I've even got guys flash me before they weren't even the police they were flashing me for me to move over and I was going like 140 and I was just like whatever man and then they went around me um, you'll have guys in Lamborghinis Ferraris do that too all types of weird people but yeah you do not have to move over unless they're the police and you'll know they're the police. So, uh, yeah, if they're being complete jerks, you can just stay the course and just um, ignore them. And they'll drive around you as soon as they can. We've got some speed signs posted. All right, and you should be good. Peace. Something also to note. Um, if you're driving and something happens, say you break down or you get into a really bad accident, um, hopefully you're not too injured to not be able to make a call. Um, they do have service telephones off to the left. They're always on the left. Um, I think if I hold this long enough, we might be even, they're even in the tunnel sometimes. They're off to the left and you can stop, pull over, and uh, use one of those service telephones. And even though you don't speak Japanese, you can try to kind of tell them they'll probably get somebody that speaks English give them a mile marker or whatever and then they have a guy they'll have a uh, guy come out and try to help you um, they the road service crews are yellow they're usually yellow and white striped trucks um, they are the road cleaners um, and they assist people that break down on the road so it's also good to have a flare handy so you can warn other drivers to get away from you so you don't like <laughs> run into you you already um, accident that you already got in, so you don't want that. So have a flare handy and look out there. Is look out for one of those uh, service telephones, always on the left side. If you can get to it safely, and let them know where you are as best as you can, and somebody will come out and get you. expressway <clears throat> speed cameras speed cameras are usually mounted about as high as this sign here you can blatantly see them they're pointing down at you uh, they're meant for you to see them um, so that you can slow down or try to slow down um, long time ago I was driving like a knucklehead I was going about 150 something like that and all I saw was a big red flash blam so took my picture. Um, what happened later, I never got anyone that followed up on me, thank goodness, but um, I heard that if you get flashed twice, they will um, either come track you down on the road, if you're still on the road, or they'll just uh, contact uh, you, your command, if you're affiliated with the base, or if you're just a regular person out here, um, they will know who you are because they got your license plate and <laughs> your face look like a look like a deer in headlights <laughs> maybe even squinting because that flash um, and they'll, the fines will probably be about 250 US dollars or Niman Gose yen 25,000 yen so be careful of that I'm gonna see if I can get a video Cloudy day. 